Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, man killed a body dump on highway, two men in custody, 66-year-old and 16-year-old shot dead in Naga Head, guns seized and more. Gunmen struck in a section of Old Arbor St. Catherine on Friday night, leaving a man dead and his common-law wife injured shortly after they arrived home. The deceased has been identified as Patrick Pearson, a 59-year-old plumber of Old Arbor address. His wife companion received minor injuries from the gun attack and was released after being treated at a hospital. Reports reaching our news team are that, shortly after the couple arrived home in their motor car, sometime after 9 p.m., another vehicle, a Toyota Pro Box, drove up. An armed man alighted from the Pro Box and opened gunfire at the couple inside their car. Pearson managed to escape the vehicle but was chased and shot several times by his attacker before the gunman fled the scene in the waiting motor car. The wounded man and his lover, who received a single gunshot wound in the leg, were assisted to the hospital. Pearson, it was reported, died on arrival while his companion was treated. A motive for the gun attack has not yet been established by investigators. Tragedy struck in Red Pond off St. John's Road as 24-year-old Shereen Stevenson was shot and killed at her mother's business place Friday afternoon. Reports are that Stevenson was approached by several armed men who shot her multiple times once to the face. The victim father says he was wilded when he heard the news. I got a phone call from somebody and said, listen, I don't know what's happening, but I see a whole of a crowd of rush go over by your baby mother's business place. Call and check and find out what happened. So immediately I just call my daughter mother and ask her, I said, what happened? Look like she didn't reach either. So she said, shooting take place at the shop. So she run go see what I want. But I guess while she on the phone with me, she reached here and she started crying me and say, I know what I think because she alright, but I don't know nothing about my daughter. I don't know what's going on. Alright, when I when I came down here you now, them said, boy, boss, hey your daughter, you know. Me I said to myself, I don't think it happened, I go and I look. I see the spot where the and thing, and I still not accept that, so boy, you know? When I go now and go identify our body, I say, boy, it really am for true. This kind of sound personal to me, like, I'm more than one of them come for her, and obviously, them come with a high power weapon. So this didn't really look normal to me, but the parents, they must say they don't know how and why. But who to tell me just hope the police them continue with them investigation and them break through with something because God knows that we need for know what happened right so. A video of the scene is available, so once you're interested in seeing it, just go down in the description where you'll find the link to our Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group, and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how, go down in the description and you're interested in seeing it, no worries. Just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV, that is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link, and it will be provided to you as soon as possible a 66 year old woman was gunned down during a hail of bullets after gunmen invaded Castaner drive in Nagahead, portmore in saint catherine friday evening the identity of the deceased has not yet been ascertained at this time she is believed to be a vendor reports reaching our news team are that evelyn harmas men entered the community about 7 30 p.m on friday and opened gunfire at residence when the gunshot subsided the senior citizen was found suffering from bullet wounds she was pronounced dead at the hospital while a motive has not yet been established for the killing the police say several violent acts and conflicts in the community have linkage the persons residing overseas investigations are ongoing 26 year old jabari campbell otherwise called wani a student engineer of retirement granville in st james was arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition on saturday 
Our news team understands that about 6.30 a.m., the police executed a search warrant at Campbell's house, and during the search, one 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 13 9mm rounds was allegedly found under a bed. Campbell was arrested and later charged following a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. His court date is being finalized. A 16-year-old boy was shot and killed in Iron Eye, St. James, on Saturday evening. The deceased boy has been identified as Chris J. Thompson. According to the police, Thompson was attacked in his community by unknown assailants at approximately 6.45 p.m. Similarly, in Green Pond community, 29-year-old Adrian South, otherwise called Andrew, was shot and killed by unknown assailants approximately 12.45 p.m. on Saturday. The Mount Salem police are investigating. St. James has recorded some 19 murders since the start of the year. Then, me really, I wonder if we realize they wouldn't reach nowhere yet. I just January, you know, and so much people drop out already. So, can you imagine when we reach March, August, down there? So, you know, I go pretty over here. So, I guess I'm going now, you know, stop it. I get worse by the day. Two men are in police custody after they were arrested in connection with a body that was dumped on the Edward Siaga Highway on Friday night. The suspects are said to be ages 21 and 35. Their identities are being withheld at this time. Reports reaching our news team are that about 10.15 p.m., the Jamaica Defense Force personnel were alerted by a motorist that a man was thrown from a vehicle on the highway. Acting on that information, the JDF officers intercepted a silver Nissan motor car with two men aboard. A search of the vehicle led to a seizure of a firearm, while blood was seen in a section of the vehicle. The men were subsequently detained for questioning. Further checks by the JDF led to the discovery of the body of an unidentified male on the roadway. The body was taken to the morgue. Investigations are ongoing. Managa lie, them attackers here look like a some Netflix movie, them are attackers. I not understand them. People, pictures of this scene is available. Just follow the usual procedure. Go down in the description where you will see the link to the Telegram group. I just run go on over the Instagram page and ask for the link. Because honestly, I don't even know how to describe this one too. No. I swear. Viewers and subscribers, I your turn now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion is valid. So I'm afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.